hope always springs eternal where this magical club is concerned. It's a time for deep breaths, broad shoulders, four big weeks, six huge games. Quality got them here, personality encouraged by the bucket load could be key as an ingredient now. You just never know. Let's take a look at the teams then, because Connor Bradley is the only new injury concern. The main head, uh, headache for Jurgen Klopp has been riding the fine line of not pushing his luck with players that are short of fitness. Uh, but of course, now he had to make some really big decisions. Most salaries dropped to the bench, along with Sobersly, Kanate, Jones, and McAllister. So it's a new midfield. Endo returns. Harvey Elliott gets a start against the team where it all started for him. Ryan Gravenberg, too. We're full of a concern. Good result for them last weekend, so not reason to change too much. De Cordova Reed is the man that takes over the captain's armband. William has got a slight groin issue, so didn't make it today. And Fulham played with two holding midfielders. Zhao Palinha, their human doorstop, the Premier League's most successful tackler, has Lukic for company now in the middle of that two. And where the league's shining lights are concerned, the player of the month, Rodrigo Munez, with eight in his last 14 starts, will lead the line for Fulham. Here is Luis Diaz again, does well around one of the most impressive young defenders at the moment in Anthony Robertson. Jota looking lively and draws the early corner from Tosin. Back to the familiar territory of Trent Alexander-Arnold's delivery, which goes short to Harvey Elliott, who draws the booze, having only played a couple of games for Fulham. They have fairly long memories of a 15-year-old as the ball comes in and the header from Diaz and a wonderful cross from Trent Alexander-Arnold, but Liverpool with a wonderful opportunity there to take the lead. What a ball in. Good play down this right-hand side. What a ball, Trent. He's got to score. It's a free header, knocking in the bottom corner. Again, we missed the target. Liverpool happy to keep it. Andy Robertson forward for Diaz. The central striker takes it down wonderfully well, and Bassi had to be quick and precise. Gakpo picks it up again. Jota perhaps from the wide left position. Tosin did well. I think it went over the touchline, did it? And Liverpool get a corner. Yeah, very, very good by Liverpool again. It was a battle here, this was close. Could he get his foot to a force? Great defending. Elliott again was looking for that run of uh, Jota, who wanted it short. Jota takes over, look at the fallen bodies around Liverpool when they get possession. That's a nice ball from Trent Alexander-Arnold, bit of space now for Diaz, Jota. Sums up probably the last seven days. It's, it's great football, a great run by Diaz down this right-hand side. Trent sees him with a great pass. Gets it to Jota, Jota doesn't really expect it, hits off both legs and goes wide of the, the goal. Look at the space that Dukan over Reed's got here. As they commit bodies forward. Space for a Wobi. Shot comes in from distance from Palinha. Not enough to worry Alison Becker on that occasion though. A Wobi dispossessed and Liverpool could be on here. If Cody Gapo can find the right ball. Fulham get bodies back. Here's Diogo Jota. Again, it's Paulinho, and he will be booked this time. Just stop the run and the, the charge that was well and truly on for Liverpool there. You've got your team at a free kick in a very, very good position. It was a gap, wasn't it? Alexander Arnold there with that set play, and that's why he takes them. His last one against Fulham in December. Is he back just in the nick of time? Liverpool with the lead. Fulham come back into the game a bit. Liverpool turn the afterburners on and go ahead. Magnificent free kick. Whips it in over the top of the wall. Goalkeeper tries. He can't get there. It's right in the top corner. Going away from the keeper. The light on all the Liverpool players' faces. What a free kick that is. Gakpo with the effort. With a good build from Liverpool again. Their tails are well and truly up now. It's a big and very important hand from Leno.
Endo's dispossessed. Nawobi, they have four forward here. Fulham, Paulinho, the cross in. Munez on the turn, and it's a good hand from Allison. The inform Fulham striker. And Liverpool were almost made to pay. Lukic, Nawobi, Virgil van Dijk. Stayed on his feet, was only half a claim even from the Fulham crowd, but that was a heavy touch from Graven Birch and Liverpool will concede a free kick on the edge of the box. Van Dijk with the cheerleading from a Liverpool defensive perspective. Pereira tries the shot and he done Alisson Becker with the eyes, so the Brazilian, they've got the hand on it. Are they saying here that there's not going to be a corner for that? Liverpool have been allowed to, uh, to get on with play. They were clever about it, they got him with it quickly before the ref got anything in his ear to change yeah. his mind. But they've just got to hang on here, Liverpool. Let's go in one up. Fulham will commit for one last final opportunity in that first half. Robertson with the nudge, cross comes in against the head of Kwanzaa. Second opportunity for Castagna, but he doesn't pass up. Liverpool were on the ropes just at the time that they wanted to go in a goal up they can see to the first real bit of pressure that they came under last season's player of the year has given his team a chance at the very tail end of the first half but we don't get bodies in the way everybody gets the bodies in the way against us at the other end we've got to get bodies this is just so easy it's just clipped in somebody go and win it Andy Robbo doesn't win it Van Dijk comes out of position and we're just all over the place time to give a goal away, you were going in one up you were happy, you were great, everything's going really really well, but you can see it again a silly, silly goal. The home team are back in the game again and there's more rousing words that will need to be delivered by the Liverpool manager Robertson Gakpo's on his bike again Tosin with the toe in Jota with some space, Harvey Elliott with the opportunity, drags it wide Best opportunity of this second half. Yeah, he's tried to do him with the eyes. It's a good move from Liverpool. Jota gets on the end of his sees Harvey Elliott inside. It's come off his heel more than anything. And he's screwed it wide. Harvey Elliott switch of play. Control from Gravenberg was heavy. Bassi can't clear it properly. Elliott with another chance. Gravenberg shot on goal! Wonderful! just when Liverpool needed it it's his first Premier League goal his fourth of the season a player that struggled to find his stride after the injury at Wembley could have found an SOS for Liverpool's Premier League dream Liverpool back in front well, the pressure was coming on it was whether they could withstand that pressure Fulham they kept getting clearances in but Liverpool kept picking it up go at him again a Wolby it is who gives it away Elliot gets it back. This is a great ball in by Elliot. Gravenberg. Great, great finish. In off the post. Now keep it going. What they needed to find today was a perfect response to the last week. They responded to the equaliser. Now in front, looking for a third. Here's Ryan Gravenberg again. Jota. Bit of space for him to find the supply. Can't find Cody Gakpo, only as far as Endo. Good feet from Gravenberg again, lots of confidence there now. Robertson onto Jota, big save from Bert Leno, who at the second time of asking just managed to get both arms around it. Great football, just can't get enough on it. Fulham have beaten Arsenal and Spurs at home. Trailing to Liverpool. Oh, what a turn that is from Jota. He's got a run from Diaz, and it's almost stabbed into his own goal from Bassi. The turn was wonderful, the pass was almost the same. Fulham just survived. What a turn by Jota. Two good runs there in front of Trent Alexander-Arnold, the switch. Looking for Robertson, his inch perfect. Robertson does equally well. Cody Gakpo, again good hands from Leno. It probably needed it a bit higher. Go for top corner. Tom Kearney's taken over the uh, the armband. 
four different promotions to the Premier League, three with Fulham, 12 seasons ago with Hull City as well. Bags of experience. He's going to need to get through bags of running now as Cody Gakpo finds Diogo Jota. Yes! It was bound to happen. He's been feeding on scraps, Diogo Jota. It's a milestone goal for him, his 100th in England. And perhaps even bigger, he's back in the goal-scoring groove again. I'm only wondering about offside. Good ball in. Can we go at him? Now Jota's away now. It looks OK. It's close. But Jota finishes yet again, sublimely. Across the goalkeeper, Leno can't get enough hand on it. He looks on from there, but then we've said that before, yes, haven't we? Yes, we have. The green line is onside. And it will be a big cheer from the Liverpool fans when they find out. Have another celebration, Liverpool fans. And also, I'm just wondering whether it might be Diogo Jota's last actions of the game. The strike across the goalkeeper is so, so good. Gravenberg, little flick inside. Gakpo does well to win it and then sets him up. He always knows where the goalkeeper is as well. He doesn't take one look up, does he, Jota? Touch was slightly heavy from McAllister. Could let Fulham in here. Danger. Good save from Allison. Did enough with the follow up as well. There's so much time that they've not needed the big keeper. On that occasion, they did. Says something for Liverpool's powers of recovery, Ron. When you think of, you know, that late journey back to Liverpool Friday and sleep won't have been great after getting into bed late. The lactic acid that comes with a big match day on Thursday. They look full of energy today. And this fella is full of energy now. Mo Salah turns supplier for Nunes just too far in front of him to take the gamble. There's still an opportunity for Nunes, who takes the shot on into the side netting of Bert Leno. Salah looked lively there. He did look very lively, great ball by Endo. This is what's lacking, isn't it, at the moment? Just that little roll of a pass. He knows straight away, Salah tries to get himself back to get the ball in. Adama Traore. Little dink ball in, and the header was a clever-looking one from Wilson. There was just no pace on it, was there for him? And that is it. Liverpool back, joint top of the Premier League table again after such an emotionally exhausting week as a Liverpool fan from the defeat to Crystal Palace going out of Europa League in the week, no fairy tale ending in Dublin for Liverpool all their eggs in one basket now and it's one hell of a basket isn't it three teams in the charge at the top it's finished here at Craven Cottage, Fulham 1, Liverpool 3